Just recently, Paramount Plus dropped the first trailer for SEAL Team's sixth season, and fans couldn't be happier. So what can we expect from this hit military drama? Lucky for you, we've got it all in today's video. Find out all about it and more, so make sure you keep watching if you don't want to miss out on the latest. Breaking news, the first SEAL Team Season 6 trailer has been released by Paramount Plus. On August 24, Paramount Plus unveiled the official trailer for SEAL Team's sixth season, which would consist of 10 episodes. The show will premiere brand new episodes every Monday, only on Paramount+. Plus. David Boreanaz, Max Derriott, Neil Brown Jr., A.J. Buckley, Tony Trucks, and Rafi Barsoomian are the stars of the SEAL team. The Navy SEAL's most elite team is the subject of the military drama SEAL Team, which chronicles their professional and personal lives as they prepare for and carry out the riskiest, most important missions our nation can ask of them. The Tier 1 team's revered and tough captain, Jason Hayes, Boreanaz, has a troubled family life as a result of his lengthy warrior lifestyle. Clay Spencer, Theriot, a young, multilingual second-generation SEAL with unquenchable drive and dedication, Omar Hamza, Barsoomian, senior chief with 15 years of experience as a SEAL and the son of a Syrian immigrant, Ray Perry, Brown Jr., the longest-tenured operator with whom Jason shares an ingrained shorthand, Sonny Quinn, Buckley, an exceptional, loyal soldier with a checkered past, Lieutenant Lisa Davis, Trucks, a no-nonsense take-charge officer, is essential to the team's success. The close-knit SEAL squad demonstrates undying patriotism and unflinching loyalty, even in the face of enormous obstacles. Despite being deployed on covert missions around the world at a moment's notice and being aware of the toll it takes on them and their families, executive producers of the CBS Studios produced SEAL Team include David Boreanaz, Carl Beverly, Sarah Timberman, Christopher Chulak, Spencer Hudnut, and Christopher Chulak. Paramount Global Content Distribution provides the show's global distribution. But wait, many fans may be confused about SEAL Team's upcoming season. This is not to be confused with the SEAL Team movie. And yes, there's a movie coming up as well. CBS Studios revealed on February 15, 2022 that it would make a standalone film based on the TV show SEAL Team. Following SEAL Team's shift from CBS to the streaming service, this will be an exclusive for Paramount+, Plus, and it appears that the goal is to increase subscriber numbers with this kind of material. The good news is that the movie and TV series are produced by the same team, albeit we don't yet know how they will work together. Some rumors contend that the movie will place the events of Season 5's finale in a new period, providing the show the opportunity to introduce new characters. That part partly stems from the announcement's phrase that CBS would extend the storytelling world, though it could also just be a reference to the fact that SEAL Team content is being released in a new format. So, when is the release date for SEAL Team Season 6? The SEAL Team Season 6 will premiere on Paramount Plus on September 18, 2022, which is fantastic news. Moving on to the storyline, what can we expect in SEAL Team Season 6? We honestly don't know how Season 6 and the movie will connect. As of right now, there are no specifics on how the tale will develop, so the most we can do is guess. A Cliffhanger closes Season 5, there is a sense that something was cut off with a 14-episode run as opposed to 22 for the first two seasons, 20, Season 3, and 16, Season 4. And that's exactly where we left Bravo Team, in Mali, under attack from an ambush with RPGs. The door was already open for a change in Bravo Team because Clay Spencer had stated that he wanted to leave the show and spend more time with Stella and the child, and because Jason Hayes had Breacher's Syndrome. Hayes has recently taken measures to start a relationship with Mandy Ellis outside of the team, but no one watching the show will be surprised if this doesn't happen because the subplot of the entire SEAL team has been about the strain that impacts personal relationships. The teaser suggests that Bravo team pulls through, but Clay Spencer is hospitalized in severe condition. It's unclear whether Clay survives, but there's a suggestion in these photos of a distraught Stella that suggests he doesn't. According to the plot, Bravo team will be sent to Syria for a protected mission to assist female Syrian fighters. While that plot develops, there's a supporting subplot about the mistakes being made and the desire for retribution, which we are confident will be metered out. But there's also the possibility that Bravo Team will be shut down, which would give the situation a more political slant. There is a fleeting glimpse of someone leaving Jason Hayes' apartment with a bag if you're still curious about Mandy Ellis, his love interest. Mandy may be indicating the end of yet another Jason Hayes romance, but it may also be his daughter Emma. Now, for those of you who stumbled upon today's video, we're sure you're interested in watching the series, but don't know how. Don't worry because we've got you covered. There are several streaming platforms where you can watch it, so just make sure you keep watching to know where you can access it. The first episodes of SEAL Team aired on Sky Max in the UK and CBS in the US. It's also been available on the appropriate catch-up services, but starting on March 4, 2021, CBS All Access will become Paramount Plus, so you'll need to go there to catch up on the action. SEAL Team Seasons 1 through 5 are currently streaming on now for people in the UK. We don't know yet if it will stay on the platform or move to Paramount Plus with the UK launch, but we anticipate it to depart the Sky-owned platform at some time. In the UK, Paramount Plus debuted on June 22, 
2022. Going back to the trailer, several eagle-eyed fans have noticed the absence of a certain character in the short video, and from the looks of it, the SEAL team may have to operate in the absence of this character. If you're curious to know who this is, then you better keep watching for more. When SEAL Team returns for Season 6, will it lose another member? After their assault in Season 5's cliffhanger, it appears from the trailer that one of Bravo may not make it. Almost everyone was visible in the trailer, but Rafi Barsoumian, who plays Omar Hamza, a senior chief with 15 years of SEAL experience and the son of Syrian immigrants with a profound understanding of the Middle East, is not shown. As Season 5 came to a close, the elite Navy SEAL Team traveled to Mali to apprehend an SGS member who was rising the ranks but was ambushed while on the ground. When we last saw them, they were being heavily attacked. The aftermath is now shown in the trailer, and Clay's situation definitely does not look good. However, just because Clay is down doesn't mean Bravo is out. Although we don't know how long he'll be down, keep in mind that he was intending on at least taking a vacation from Bravo to spend time with his family. There are 20 men killed in the attack on a Navy vessel. The deployment of Bravo for a long-term special operations operation appears to coincide with the decommissioning of a team. So how could Season 6 deal with Clay's cliffhanger issue? Several fans have shared their thoughts online, which include the following. First, Clay survives, however his recovery will span the whole season. Since the trailer shows Clay in the hospital and Bravo continuing to run without him, we're aware that he will require some form of recuperation no matter what occurs. But is it possible that it continues throughout the entire sixth season, with sporadic updates on his progress? If timing is taken into consideration, Tiro may have shot scenes for several episodes of that at the same time. Then, depending on whether Fire Country gets renewed for a seventh season and whether he returns to Bravo for the climactic mission, his future with the group may be in doubt. Or, Clay could survive his condition and makes a recovery by him joining the team mid-season. Remembering that Clay won't be with Bravo for at least a little while, he may operate around Episode 6 rather than return for the season's last operation. That would mean getting to observe how he's recovering from an operation this season, as well as still spending some time at home with his family as he desired before they were attacked. Or the worst could happen. Clay dies. We hope that the worst-case scenario is the least likely. Although the drama has lost team members in the line of duty in the past, it's difficult to envision the SEAL team killing off Clay. However, something could always go horrifically wrong while he recovers. Even once Bravo has set up for their most recent operation, imagine the tragedy if they received the news that he had passed away while they were on the other side of the globe, were unable to return home in time for the funeral, and were forced to put their emotions aside to concentrate on the job. So far, these are all speculations, but we do hope Clay survives. With that, we're wrapping up today's video about SEAL Team Season 6. What do you think will happen in the upcoming season? Let us know in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. We'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.